Good evening. The ice is ready and final preparations are being made here at the Adirondack Bank Center as we are now less than 12 hours away from puck drop in the first game to open up the 2024 IIHF Women's World Championship here in Utica. The wait nearly over and that includes for Team USA who arrived here in Utica earlier today as they get ready to defend gold. Oh say can you see. The U.S. women's national ice hockey team arrived here in Utica by the dawn's early light. A team of 25 players from all over the country with 18 returners and 7 newcomers. Practicing this morning at the Utica University Nexus Center ahead of a shot at back-to-back -back world titles. This time on home ice. We had to check a bunch of boxes with, you know, getting through pictures and no more protocol with IHF events. And so there's a lot on the young players and, um, you know, can you can tell the older players, they start to get the, the, build the excitement of the tournament and that starts to kind of maybe take you away from, from that practice. But I thought we dialed in really nicely and executed on a bunch of fronts and got a couple things ironed out on special teams. It's the fifth Women's World Championship hosted in the United States, second in New York State, along with Lake Placid in 1994. The last time on American soil in 2017, Team USA came away with gold. Captain America, Hillary Knight, was one of five players on this year's roster on that team, and in her 14th Women's World Championship, hopes to do it again. I can't wait. It's, it still feels like a whirlwind because we got in yesterday. We had our tryout. Um, and so just hitting the reset button and focusing now on getting prepared for the tournament. But we're extremely excited to finally have a World Championships um, on home soil again. Another veteran player left from the 2017 team, Kendall Coyne Schofield, making a triumphant return eight months after giving birth to her first child. After missing last year while on maternity leave, the three-time Olympian is ready to bring that mom strength to another pursuit of gold. This is the hardest team I've had to make, and, I, and they're all very hard. These are the best teams in the world. What I've gone through um, to get to this point um, has been hard. It's hard to put into words. It's hard to explain unless, you know, the other moms out there can relate to how hard it is to come back after having a child. Um, but I know this will definitely be the most special for sure for me. Many of the players on the national team have been in facilities all over the world throughout their international career. The U.S. winning the country's 10th gold medal in this tournament in Brampton, Ontario, Canada last year. And now it's back to the land of the free and the home of the brave here in Utica, New York. A small city, sure, but one with major metropolitan facilities and, of course, the atmosphere. Oh, it's been unbelievable. I mean, this is our first day here, so we're all walking around like this place doesn't end and our our locker room area is unbelievable. Like we have like the nicest change down area I've ever seen. And then <laughs> even in the hotel, we have like our own wing with all the different rooms and amenities that we could need and more, which is pretty cool. So as expected, the hosts are spoiled and Utica has spoiled us in the best way possible. And there's more to see. We've only been here for a few hours, so I can only imagine what else I'm going to keep walking around and seeing. So Team USA getting their final practice in ahead of puck drop against Switzerland to kick off the preliminary round tomorrow night at 7 o'clock here at the Adirondack Bank Center to get the U.S.'s journey underway in the IIHF Women's World Championship. The U.S. going for their second gold medal overall, but also their second gold medal in a row on home ice, the last coming in 2017 out in Plymouth, Michigan again. The United States getting the first of four preliminary round contests underway tomorrow against Switzerland. Puck drop here at the odd at 7 o'clock.